so I've got some of the pieces here and I've just kind of put it together but I haven't actually screwed it so what I'm gonna do is gonna do the lines to make sure the measurements correct and then I can do some pre-drilling and then screw it together so I'm just doing a measurement so I'm just drawing a line to where the sliders will go So I'll put it together like that so that I can screw it in. So now I'm just going to mark the crosses before I pre drill it. So now I'll do the same to the other side. So I'm just going to pre-drill the holes now. So now I'll do the other side as well. So now I'm using the screws and I'm going to hand tighten them. So just make sure when you're tightening the screws that the screws doesn't get in the way when you start to unlock and lock it, okay? Otherwise it won't work. So now I'm doing the other side. Okay, now we can try to see if it fits. There we go. So I've also inserted the other side and this is what it looks like. So what I'm doing is just putting dots so that I can pre-drill again and then I'll be installing this plywood. So I've just done dots there. So I'm just doing the measurement and drawing a line and that way I know where I'm going to be screwing it in. So now I'm going to pre-drill some holes so that I can put these screws on which is the stainless steel. So this hole will go through to the other side. So 
So I'll just clamp this together so that I can drill on top here. So I'm just going to drill a bit of counter sink which is going to go in here so that the screw will be flat. So I'm just going to put these screws in first and then I won't go all the way through. Set the glue first as well. Yeah, so there's a little bit of poking out there. So I'm going to put the glue in. So I'm just screwing the last part, which is this one, just tightening it up. So now we've got it together and see if we can put it in. So I finally got them together now. I've closed the front bit. But this is how it is. And then we can put it back in. And that's it. We've done one part of it again. So now I've got the first slide drawer working. What it looks like. Looking pretty good. I'll show you how it locks. Push it through. Once you hit a click, then that's locked. So I got more wood. This is going to be for the front face of the drawers. And this one's the bench top of the drawers. I've also got the table lift has arrived, which will go on top of the drawer. So this cost about $24 on eBay and it's two pieces. So now we're going to measure and install the sliders for the small cutting board which will go around here. So we've drawn the line and it's going to be going this way. So I've pre-drilled the holes and I'm ready to hand tighten the screws. And so let's test it out, pull that. looks good so I've got the bottom ones working now there's clips in there just like that so all I need is to put the other parts of the plywoods
So now I'm up to the cutting board and I'm installing the sliders and then I'm going to pre-drill now. So this is the left side and I'm testing it out. And it's working nice and smooth. So the other side is also done and we're gonna try it out. There we go. So we're pretty close guys. It's getting there. Looking pretty good. That's what it currently looks like guys. Looking pretty good. So the cutting board is going to look like this but I'm also going to be putting a dishwasher collapsible sink which will go underneath so it will be removable as well so I'm going to be using the saw it's going to be pretty loud this one here we go This is currently the progress, right there. I got a few of my pieces right here. So now what we're gonna do is gonna, we're gonna put the bottom part of the box so that I can install dual batteries underneath and through the hole here. So what I'll do is pre-drill holes here first and then I can screw them on. So I'm just using a screwdriver handheld so it can go straight. Also drilling some counter sink so that it's flushed when I do the screw. So now I'm doing the front draw. So I'm going to be doing the front part of it. And then after this one, this will cover another set of um, front in here. I'm now drilling the back of the drawers so I'm going to put a screw here and then after that I'm going to put some screws underneath so I've just finished the side of the drawers that's what it looks like. So I've got the back as well. Looking really good now guys. So this is what the bottom one looks like so far. So I'll put that in there so that I can put the front face of the drawer. So I've got the two wooden blocks up here so that I can remove that. And I can put it back as well. And that can close too. And it fits. So I've installed the lift for the table. It's like a gas lift. And I've screwed it on. And I've just wired it so it stays 
uh, in position and then I make sure it's level. So I've done the same for the other side and that's the lift for the table. And I partly screwed it on and I'll screw the rest. But now I'm gonna do the measurement for it so I can put the top. So that's what the top looks like. And I can open it from here. So what I've done is mark the line from here to here and then and I'm going to transfer it on this and the same here and here. What we're doing today is we're going to lightly sand the drawers. I've separated them and we're going to use a varnish. So the varnish I got is the One Coat Clear Timber Protect and this is water based and it's a gloss finish. After that we're going to be staining um, the outside of the drawer which is I'm going to be using a proof tint which is black japan that's the color after that we're gonna put the varnish over it i've sanded it down and i prepped it as well so now we're gonna start to do some one coat please bottom so I'll be doing the rest tomorrow on the other side it's actually bringing out the wood grains so what I'm gonna do now is gonna do some proof tint which is a black Japan stain and I'm gonna put that on top here to make it black gonna show up the wood grain which will look really nice so I'm just gonna use a cloth to put it in So this is the first coat and it looks pretty damn good. So 
so it looks like it's dark brown. And all the grains are starting to come up. But later on when I put the varnish in, I'm sure the grain will even look, come out even more. This color looks really good. It's called Black Japan. It's got that rustic look. Check out that wood grain popping out, just there. So first coat looks a bit more brown, but I might stick with the first coat for now. So this one's just a clear varnish, and it's just a one coat. What's up guys, welcome back to 4x4 Jumpman and we're going to do the last part of the, our project which is the front part of our drawers and I'm going to be cutting that with a saw and then we're going to put it in front and screw it in and then do a bit of staining as well and then put in the uh, clear coat or varnish as well on that one. You're probably wondering why I haven't done much cutting as when I bought the plywood they were already cut to the size. And also Bunnings, our local hardware store, did some of the free cutting for me which was helpful when cutting straight cuts as it was harder for me to cut straight with a circular saw. And I did not have all the other wood cutting equipment. I had to make use of what I only have at home. The most difficult part is cutting the holes as I had no proper tools and I made do with what I have. I've made the hole, that's what it looks like. Took a while, but look at that. It's nice and perfect. Now he's gonna stain it and varnish it. So I've done the front and I've made the holes. Now we're gonna give it a stain. It's gonna be black Japan. And then we're gonna varnish it. So I'm only gonna do the front. That's what it looks like when it's stained with black Japan. Looking good. I've done the clamps for the front of the drawers. I just measured it. Now I'm going to drill the hole and put it inside. So that bottom one's done. Looks pretty cool. So I drilled the holes so I can screw it in. That's the front drawers. That's what the front looks like. In the black Japan stain and a gloss varnish. A little kitchen sink for our caddy is just arrived. what it looks like right there. It's cool. You can put the towel there. You can put the soap. Yeah. So I've installed the toggle. So this will make it easier for me when I take it off and on when I go camping. So I've actually made everything removable, even the mounting. 
That's my mountain there. It's pretty sturdy. It's not even moving at all. Just doing a bit of barbecue while I'm doing the setup for the camp kitchen. I decided to make my own camp kitchen setup because I was tired of this disorganized tub. Things were just all over the place. I also wanted to have a wood grain look instead of a carpet or plain black so that it can give that character of being in with nature as every setup I have seen had the carpet. I do know if I put carpet and metal plate around it, it would be more durable when loading things, but I'll just have to be careful when loading so I don't damage the drawers. I've also added extra varnish for more protection from the elements. So inside the gas lift table, I have the light, which is magnetic and that can be attached here. I've also got the chopping board in there. I've also got two canvas bags which are see-through and inside those bags I've got some oil, I've also got coffee and then sugar and I've also got um, another oil which is different to the oil spray and I've also got the butane can and then I've also got the thongs for when cooking barbecue. I've got my mini speaker as well and then I've got my headlight in there so on the second bag I've got some tissue I've also got some paper bowls I've also got the frying pan and then I've got plates in there as well I've got some wipes I've got the cups and then I've got the mug I've also got the fork and maybe in the future I'll get proper cutleries. My water faucet which is rechargeable is also stored in here. I've also got my barbecue equipment which helps with the barbecue. The magnetic light is really useful because I can use it at night. So I use my portable power tech to power up my mini speakers also to charge my phones it's also got 240 volts connection. Also installed a bottle opener which is essential for camping. Bottle opener there. And it's a vintage style so it looks. I also installed a hook so I can hang garbage bags or cooking utensils. I researched on what I needed for my kitchen slide drawers and took different designs from others and made what suited my truck bed. I wanted to also be able to use the tub door as a bench. I also wanted it to be functional and not very long as some car parks are very short and narrow around where I live. I wanted to have a drawer to be able to store my kitchen accessories and food as well as make it a bench top to put things on top. So I added a table gas lift. I bought my heavy duty drawer slides and lifts online so they were a lot cheaper. I made the small slide two functions which turns to a cutting board and then a sink with a rechargeable water faucet and a kitchen sink caddy to put soap, hand towel and a washer. It's also removable and can be packed away in seconds. Next to the drawers, I have made a space for a large portable tub where I can store my camp stove and additional food and pots. I kept that space in case I am also hauling bikes and stand up boards etc. It's also space for a bigger fridge. On the wing I will make space for air compressor. I made space at the back for chairs and other camping equipment. To power the fridge, I have the PowerTech portable and a solar panel which one day I will upgrade to a dual battery which will be installed on the wing and the back of the drawer for longer trips. The power tech can also power my mini speakers and charge my phones and support 240 volts plugs when I'm cooking. The fridge I have opens from the side so I have the top of drawers 
big enough so that the fridge can face across for easy access. I will be putting fridge anchor points on top of the drawers. This can also be used for putting the kitchen drawers to other vehicles such as on the boot of my Mazda as tie down points. I reckon you wouldn't believe me but the total build for this custom drawer only cost me 330 Australian dollars. I think this is worth it as it suited how I wanted my drawers to be. Others were more expensive and did not suit my needs although they are made from aluminium. My drawers is also lightweight and functional for my needs. I think it was a good build being my first time but I know I could do a lot better next time if I had proper tools, sander and table saw. With the water faucet I can put a water bottle underneath the tub and the hose will suck in the water and then it will be used for the sink. On the right side of my tub door I can use that as a bench and I can put my camp stove on top of that. I can also get a bigger camp stove as it's a wide bench. I can also place a windshield around it. So when I'm cooking I can change the sink into the cutting board and use it as a bench when I'm doing some cutting. That is why I kept it with a hole so that I can put the cutting board and make it two functional draw. I'll be doing a video on how I did the removable mounting false floor which used the existing screws on the tie down anchor points on the tub without drilling any holes on the tub to avoid rust issues. If you guys want to see this just follow the channel. I hope you like this video and subscribe for more future videos on my channel.